Like the Long Range LR, the Electronic Instrument System EIS of the A320 consists of two subsystems. The Electronic Flight Instrument System EFIS, with two PFDs and two NDs, the Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring System ECAM, with an upper and a lower display unit. The symbology, the color coding and the philosophy are similar for both aircraft. There are just some differences that we will cover in this module. First, let's compare the A320 EIS architecture with that of the long range. Like on the long range, there are three identical display management computers implemented on the A320. These process data from the ADERS, the FMGS and system sensors and generate the images to be displayed. Each DMC has two independent channels, an EFIS channel and an ECAM channel. DMC EFIS and ECAM channels can be transferred independently through one EFIS DMC selector and one ECAM DMC selector. These selectors will be seen later on in this module. In normal operations, DMC3 is used as backup. Note, each DMC is able to simultaneously drive one PFD, one ND, and the ECAMs. Let's continue this module by presenting the EFIS controls. Outboard of the PFDs, there are control knobs to adjust the brightness of the associated PFD and ND weather radar image, or to turn the display off. Just next to the ECAM lower display, on top of the pedestal, an ECAM switching panel is installed for use in abnormal situations to restore data to the ECAM and EFIS displays. On the A320, one EFIS DMC selector is mounted to allow the pilots to manually select the data source. On the long range, two DMC selectors are mounted to each outboard side of the cockpit for manual selection. Each pilot also has an EFIS control panel to select what is displayed on the EFIS screens. This panel is very similar to the one on the long range. There are just two differences to note. On the A320 EFIS, the engine main parameter display mode does not exist. The LS push button label, anticipating other systems than ILS on the long range, still remains the ILS push button label on the A320. However, the push buttons have the same function. On the ECAM control panel, ECP, there are two differences you can notice. The first one is that on the A320, one electrical key is fitted only instead of two for AC and DC on the long range. The second difference is that on the A320, the circuit breaker, CB, ECAM system page is not available. CBs are in the cockpit. Thus, 11 systems can be selected on A320 rather than 13 on A330, A340.